What is good everybody? I hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna go out and do some black and white shots. And I wanna share some tips uh, when it comes to black and white photography. Really quick, I wanna jump in here and thank my kids for getting me this Christmas gift, a book on the Eastern North American waterfowl. And it is super cool guys. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below. So shout out to my kids for that one. So we're gonna jump out here in just a minute and go out and do that photography, try to get some really cool moody shots, uh, black and white shots. But before we do that, I wanna kinda go into just a few tips that can help you along your journey doing black and white photography. It's a sunny day, pretty brisk, pretty cold. No snow yet. So for me, black and white photography is all about uh, telling a story and setting the mood when conditions outside are not really ideal for photography. So excluding golden hour and blue hour, sunset and sunrise, those times of day, or storms are really good for photography. But I'm talking about like the middle of the day, you know, noon to you know, 3 p.m. or if it's overcast, that's another great opportunity for black and white photography because typically when the sun is right above you and this harsh midday sun, uh, it just has those really harsh shadows and the highlights are typically blown out. So when you transfer a photo to black and white, uh, it just allows the contrast to be able to pop out and it kind of just evens out the photograph a lot more and it gives it a different type of mood, uh, a different type of feeling and emotion. The next tip would be to try to get a little bit closer to your subject as much as you can. Uh, shooting landscapes, it's really not that big of a deal if you're doing landscapes for the day. Uh, typically because you're just trying to get everything in frame for the most part. Uh, but if you're doing wildlife for the day, try to get a little bit closer um, because your black and white photo, you don't you don't want your subject to blend in with the background. Black and white photography works really, really good uh, during storms, uh, during, you know, if it's foggy outside, uh, if the subject is backlit, uh, any type of weather patterns that you can see that are out of the norm. Now it is a little bit tricky to photograph black and white photography uh, for wildlife in those moody situations because the background is a little bit more darker than usual. However, if your subject is not dark to begin with, it'll help with that contrast difference. Now landscapes, like I said, it, it truly doesn't matter because you're trying to get everything in frame anyways. Um, the next tip is just to try to get the exposure correct uh, in camera when you're out in the field, uh, when you're out on location. Uh, that way, when you're you're coming home and you're uploading your photographs and you're editing them, uh, it's a little bit easier, in my opinion, uh, from what I've found, to raise the shadows a little bit and raise the exposure a little bit and be able to uh, maintain the photo than, say, having it blown out, the highlights uh, too high, and trying to bring those down is a little bit more difficult, in my opinion, anyway. So just tweak your settings a little bit if you're in manual or shoot an aperture priority. I know on the fly it could be kind of tricky because with wildlife, everything happens so quick. Obviously, keeping your shutter speed as high as possible and your ISO as low as possible uh, will reduce uh, noise in your photograph as well as any type of blurry images if you're shooting wildlife. So my next tip for black and white nature and wildlife photography is something that I have done in the past and I don't recommend and that is to delete 90% of your photos. And we like to look on our cameras, right? And go through all the photos right on the back of the camera. I personally would wait until you're back home and you're uploading the photos off the memory card and you can actually see the file in the correct size on a bigger screen. I know it's tempting and we get excited over wanting to see the images and see which ones we got keepers of and, and maybe get uh, that bucket shot that we're looking for. We definitely want to tell a story with these black and white photos, uh, with the whole habitat. I've deleted more photos that should have been keepers and uh, I missed the opportunity of keeping that photo and I was like, why did I just do that? I should have waited, I went too fast. I'm here to tell you from personal experience, I have deleted way more photographs that should have been keepers because I was too much of in a hurry. So right before we head out onto this nature hike for black and white photos, I wanna jump into the last tip that I have uh, for shooting nature and wildlife photography for black and white. Oh my gosh, the sun. <laughs> Should have done that in the beginning. Last tip is really just to play with your sliders in post-processing. The shadows, the highlights, the dehaze, the contrast. It really goes back to my other point of setting a mood and telling a story. Drama, if you will. <laughs> so let's get out there on the hike and try to get some of these shots.
times black and white photos is all about picking out shapes, textures, patterns, leading lines, those types of things that will allow it to stand out. That is so gnarly looking. Pulled up from its roots right out here on the beach. The sun is starting to set. It is a beautiful evening. It turned out to be beautiful. Uh, make for some great photography. <laughs> however, however, we're going to keep it just for the black and white for this video. Just get outdoors and into nature and enjoy that opportunity with your cameras, guys, and, and uh, try something different and unique with black and white. Let me know down in the comments below any other kind of unique tips for black and white photographs that you guys have. Uh, remember, there's no such thing as a bad photograph, only a missed opportunity. Take care. God bless. I'll see you guys on the next one. Out.